Hello there. Do you play Overwatch but sometimes get tired of the constant DDoS attacks on Blizzard servers? Then we have the game for you. Paladins. Are you a poor plebeian who can't afford to play Overwatch? <laughs> Paladins. Yeah. Um, Come on, keep going. We got no, I, I can't. I can't keep. I can't keep it going. I can't keep it going. All I gotta say is though. Uh, yeah, Paladins is pretty fun and. If you're looking for another hero shooter that's not called Battleborn, because Battleborn's kind of dead on PC. Poor bastards, it was such a <laughs> shitty game to begin with. Oh, fuck you, Crit. It was a decent game. I loved the storyline. I loved the single player and the multiplayer with other people, but in Versus, it was it was garbage. It was always garbage from day one, and it continued to be garbage because the hotfixes they did only, like, increased the disparity between the OP characters and the less OP characters. <laughs> I still had a lot of fun with the multiplayer. But it takes forever to get a match now, so it's almost unplayable. Yeah. That's, com that's completely off topic, though. Yeah. Uh, no such problems in Paladins, although they have made some questionable balance changes in the recent patch. But, uh, yeah, if you're looking for a hero shooter with a cast of kind of you know, colorful uh, you know, animated characters, Paladins ain't a bad choice. I will say that, whereas Overwatch seems like it's, it's polished to, like, an absolute, uh, like, sheen like like a ridiculous it degree it, it fucking sparkles uh paladins feels a little like you know the cheat knockoff in a lot of ways like from the character design aspect it seems like a cheap knockoff because they have all these characters that we left me refer to as you know not reaper and not Widowmaker. Not, <laughs> not, not, not Reinhardt. Yeah, not... Not, not, not Reinhardt is not the Hanzo. worst knockoff. <laughs> I, I don't know, dude. Not, not Trollbjorn's pretty <laughs> So it's not Soldier 76. I'm oh, sorry, we didn't even call him not Real Soldier 76. We just call him Russian Soldier 76. Well, we also call him Creepy Uncle Victor. Yeah, Creepy Uncle Victor is here. So. Um... <laughs> It's from from other shit though. Like I mean, we got Bomb King, who is uh, you know totally not fuck. What is his name from Battleborn? Uh, 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 uh. Come on, he was my favorite character. I know who you're talking about. I can't remember his name though. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Cool evil robot guy. Isaac. Yeah. Okay. Well, Isaac. I think he has the he's same got voice. The same fucking voice actor. Yeah, he's the same voice actor, man. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, we 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 got Evie, who's totally. Not uh, the, the the fucking frass lady from League of Legends at all, and she's got anyway. some she got some May like abilities too. Yeah, it's kind of true. And then we got Androxus, who's totally not slightly more edge lord Reaper, except I he I, looks I, I, like I, he looks like Reaper, but his abilities are like a hybrid of McCree and Genji. Honestly, to me, he doesn't even look like Re well. He he looks like Reaper if if, if uh, a Legion happened to Reaper. Yeah, like like uh, the Legion invade invades the Overwatch universe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and Reaper's like, I signed up for the Legion. <laughs> God damn it! Uh, <laughs> I don't know who Buck is not, but I mean, he's not somebody. Clearly, uh... he he, he kind of looks like. <laughs> It kind of looks like a super roided out Aang from Avatar yeah, The Last Airbender. Like, like, like <laughs> Aang grew up, got like huge muscles, picked up a shotgun. No, no, no. Like Aang was just like, you know, I think I'm going to concentrate a little more on earth bending. Metal bending with the shotgun. It just got fucking ripped. He's like, oh, this is my life now. Uh, I don't think, I, I don't know of any characters like in Overwatch or Battleborn. That Buck has a resemblance to, but I mean, <laughs> with his ability set, yeah, uh, I'm having trouble like thinking of anybody. He's got heroic leap, which is I mean, a yeah. lot of characters have a leap, so yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think I think he might be one of the more original characters that they have. Uh, hey, 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 what? Hey, hey. Grok, totally not Rhaegar. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh my God, he's oh. <laughs> Grover, totally not Malfurion. Well, hey, but Malfurion again, doesn't... What are Malfurion's Trents that just, like, got tired of Malfurion's shit, picked up an axe, and went to a different <laughs> game? Hey, man, uh, Grover does so much more damage than, like, any support in any of these other games that I've played. Yeah, I, th I think that covers our characters, though. But, uh, Except for Koa. Koa. I mean, if we were going to talk about similarities between these two games, I mean, they're both hero shooters, but I think Paladins adds a little extra layer of depth with the loadouts. 
I, I don't believe in hero shooters. Yeah, you don't uh, believe in hero shooters, even though they're a thing. Uh, the, the, the loadouts no, are pretty fun. Well, uh, I, like, I uh, like being able things. I like being able to customize my build, and it's not like when I first played this game, I was worried like, oh shit, it's going to be like Hearthstone, where it's like RNG uh, card nope. quality, but it's not because you're free. Nope, you to get up. a loadout, and then you you level that shit up, and you don't even have to like pay to level it up. It does it automatically for you. Yep. Just because like that that's fantastic. All you gotta do is get new cards. And it's not really detrimental to not have the best fucking card either. Like, because uh, alternative cards are viable. I was looking at some of the cards. I'm like, you know, this is a good card for this slot. I think it's the best in slot one. But this other card, it's it's not terrible. Like, uh, one of them is like 5% shielding across the board from damage types after receiving that damage type. Like, uh, either AP damage or, you know, AD damage. Yeah. And, and the, the other thing's like just 150 health. And I'm like... Both of those are fucking good. I think the damage shield is better, but the health isn't fucking bad. There's a shit ton of utility cards or two that I like. They'll give you like a little bit of healing for the DPS characters to make you feel a little less squishy. And give you a little Speed bit of sustain. Buffs. <clears throat> Speed buffs. Uh, then, I mean, some of the some of the ones for the tanks are really really nice. Like Fernando's got kind of a support build he can go with with his loadout. Well, <laughs> well he needs it because he doesn't have anything but <laughs> <being> a tank. <laughs> All right, everyone, imagine Reinhardt dropped his fucking hammer and just had a cigarette lighter in his pocket. This is Fernando. Yeah, poor Fernando. <laughs> uh, and then Pip, the, the fucking bullshit, fucking totally support guys. Uh, this motherfucker's the junk rat of the game. Uh, <laughs> I, it's technically, Grover can, can do more damage than Pip, but... Grover relies on people being very far away to like the, the, the full you know, fuck off damage from his axe, whereas Pip point blank long distance doesn't matter. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, I'm I'm actually kind of digging this Barrick guy. Like after playing him a couple of games, tank totally, beyond. Yeah, totally not like thrilled beyond. <laughs> he even has almost the same accent. Except this Throbion doesn't give a shit about his turrets. He drops them and he leaves them to die. <laughs> but he can have like a Symmetra amount of these motherfuckers. They don't give a shit, man. He can have even man. more of them with his ultimate. <laughs> Dude, what, what, what do you mean? Even more with his ultimate. I, I, I fucking put down five without it. How many can he have? His ult adds an extra turret onto however many you have out. Like his alt throws down a turret plus a twenty thousand damage dome shield. Oh my god! Okay, yeah. let's. I think we should do this thing now. Um. Well, I mean, we were talking about similarities from the two games, and I guess like we pretty much covered it. A lot of it has to do with like how similar like, some of the character designs and shit are. Uh, they've got similar roles, like to just support frontline, aka tank. Uh, they got flankers, although flanker, I guess, it kind of rolls in with damage as well. I mean, it's very similar to Overwatch or any other hero shooter. Now, we talk about how different these games are. The business model is very different because Paladins is free to play, and they have a free to play character rotation. But and the characters are really fucking affordable. Like, you can grind out enough gold to get a character, like, from level 1 to level 10 in, like, fucking hour and a half of gameplay. Oh, yeah. And but, I well, that's really the like character. that. And it, it does, like, kind of slow down a bit. But honestly, it, it, it's fucking fast. Like, like you know, League of, League of Legends, you'd be playing that shit for fucking three and a half months and pray <laughs> to God you don't gotta buy a new fucking rune or whatever for your fucking rune board goddamn thing. Do and I then, need like, rune oh, for I characters? Have enough, I have enough for a character that you buy a character. It's like, oh, fuck, I needed a rune! <laughs> I'm stronger than me now! But yeah, no, it, it doesn't, like, this game is just like, hey, look, you know, the cards are, like auto upgrade like you start out with baseline cards uh there's other ones that you can get from packs or if you go into their loadout you can just buy them for a very small bit of fucking gold 1200 gold and you get like what 500 just for like uh yep like yep level for, you can for get every a... level up is like 500 or a loot pack which has three random fucking cards in it the uh uh <laughs> But but then, like, when you have this baseline card, you have 12 points, and you have to have five cards. 
but the, uh, you have to have 12 points total between all five of these cards. So when you have Mon there, you can level them up automatically without having to pay anything, without having to fucking, you know, combine cards or buy extra cards to get them to fucking, you know, squish together or fucking pay yeah. premium to upgrade that shit. It does it automatically for you. The, the cost of the cards is only 1,200 gold, by the way. I know. That's what I said. Uh, also, the, the premium chests don't cost that much uh, premium currency. Like, they cost nope. gems. It's 50 uh, gems per 50 loot gems, chest. Yeah. And you can, like, the, the bare minimum you can pay, I think, is, what, five bucks for 200 gems or something yep. like that. And that's not so, bad. I mean, the, yeah, the prices that, that, are... That's what? So what the, the, the one, prices 125, are... Uh, 125 a chest. That's, that's a little more expensive than Overwatch, but not a lot. Uh, yeah, a little bit, but I, I still don't think it's very bad. And a lot of the skins cost... You can buy them with gold, too, and not just premium currency. Yes. yes Granted, they are... Like, they are recolors, though. That's the thing. Uh, some of the new Epic skins are not, and they only cost premium currency. But, I mean, like, they have one for Cassie right now. It's, like, 600 gems, which is, like, 12, 10, 12 bucks, mm -hmm. which is kind of pricey. But, I mean, it comes with a weapon skin and her personal skin, and it looks really fucking cool, man. It's like, like the, I, the Witch Hunter Cassie. Or yeah, like, like it, it, if I was good at Cassie, I would I would probably buy that skin. Like, I, I, I dig this game enough. Like, if it was another character I actually don't suck with, I, I would consider buying one of those premium skins, like, hands down, no problem. Because they're, they're way affordable compared to shit like, oh, I don't know. Well, I think Overwatch we're, we're not talking heroes. about the big thing uh, going on right now. The, and remember, this, Paladins is from the developers of Smite. And Smite had this really awesome deal where you got all future and current champions for 30 bucks. The deal is even sweeter with Paladins. Right now, $13. Or is it 14 13 or 14 dollars. You unlock all current and future champions, and you get an exclusive Fernando skin. That's a fantastic deal. I think its normal price is 20 bucks. That's still a really good deal to unlock all current and future characters. Actually, hot damn! I just checked the skin itself. So not the weapon, but the skin itself. 400 gems. That's eight bucks. Like without the weapon, that's fucking great because I don't I don't really care for the weapon look that much. That's reasonable, if you ask me. That, that that's pretty badass, man. So, what do you think about the whole being able to unlock all of current and future characters thing? Um, I, I I like it, but it makes me worried for the game's future development. Because like if they already have you know the 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 pay for that then I feel like they'll be less, like, kind of strapped to add more content to the game, if that makes any kind of sense. Uh, I can see that concern, but it didn't seem to hurt Smite that much. I mean, that's true with Smite, but, you know, like, every developer has finally got that point where they're just like, okay, is this cost, effect or cost effective for our team to keep working on this? And if not, in. I, but, I, I really think that Smite was in an even more competitive scene than Paladins is. I think I mm -hmm. think Paladins will be fine even with this uh, this approach. I mean, and it's really affordable, though. So I, I think it's going to do well right out of the gates. And, like, later on, depending on how the balancing works in the game, I, it's, it's going to shift either way. Because right now, it's pretty fucking balanced. There's, uh, I, like, you know, I'm not entirely cheaters. sure about that. I was going to say, let's okay. talk, no, if we're going to talk about what might turn people off of the game, I was going to say like the current balance is a little skewed with certain characters. I oh, feel like Drogon's, it, 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 his recent buff, makes him really annoying to play against. It's, it's, it's kind of true, but at the same time, it's really hard to do like a perfect stack team like you know most games like this they have a team like if you pick that team you're fucking guaranteed to win like, uh, almost all the time i think that's fairly true unless unless you count and, like you know it, any yeah. four randos plus pip equal perfect stack yeah it's not <laughs> true though no it's not because pip pip is so fuck like they actually nerfed pip quite a bit recently and i i think it makes him a lot more viable like well, not viable for him, but like. Yeah, not, I know. I know like, what you mean. Like, like, yeah, but uh, they nerfed his hit points by like I don't know, two hundred or something. Like, it was like twenty percent of his hit point pool. Yeah, and it, 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 you know, he he's feeling the pain, 
but I mean, he's still he's still doing the damage, so it's it's fair. Well, I was going, like like another thing I think might turn people off is like we you started to mention before was uh, cheaters, which we have. Oh yeah, there's the, we've, we, we've seen, already encountered cheaters. God damn it! The first cheater I encountered was actually an aimbotting pip. By the way, he I was sixty percent of his team's damage. That's hella brutal. Yeah. And there's, like, there's not really a, a good way to report them because you just, like, after the match, you click the little exclamation point and it's, like, report options. And then there's, like, no yeah. report cheating. There's just report other. And you can't give any details yeah. on the report. Yes, that is... Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, there, there's a little, like, chat window up top and you type in what you want and then you select what you do and then hit enter. So I if actually you don't didn't notice see that. that that select part then you don't fucking type I it I, I I didn't notice it. So Yeah, yeah, like the, the so that's like there's just a little text box and then like below it are the buttons that say whatever. So hey, like I am assuming you're looking at the menu right now. No, no, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. Oh. Well, I don't want Blizzard to get this idea, but like the <laughs> the, the champions button, it it fucking looks like Zenyatta for some reason to me. I'm just staring at it. I'm like, is, is, is he going to, like, start, you know, saying harmony or some shit? I'm worried. Anyway, let's play, motherfucker. Well, no, I'm, I'm not even, I don't even have the game open right now. You know I don't have games open when we record. Duh. Uh, here's the thing, though. Like, I think this game, uh, when it first came out, it had... I had like a lot of naysayers like nah it's just, it's just an overwatch ripoff you know what to some extent that's true to a certain extent that's true but the game stands well on its own if you ask me it's different enough with the items you can get in game and the the loadout cards and the character some of the characters themselves are unique characters that don't play like anybody from overwatch or battleborn Okay, now I know no one's gonna know what I'm talking about here, but uh, this shit is like Happy Feet and Tappy Toes. Yes, they're both movies about penguins that dance. <laughs> yes, they're both mildly entertaining. Is the one with the bigger budget better? Yeah. Is the other one mildly enjoyable? Especially if you're stoned. It's, <laughs> it, it's good family fun, motherfuckers. It's, it's worth it. It's, yep. it, it's worth it wasting your time yeah paladins yeah we're the alternative a more worthy alternative than battleborn for a multitude of reasons poor poor battleborn there there is an actual viable population for paladins especially since it moved to steam there's a lot more people playing this oh game. yeah and the business model is very very consumer friendly uh some of the characters i actually like they actually have a little bit of personality bomb king is one of them even though I don't play Bomb King, I love him. I love hearing him talk. Uh, a, a few of them have grown on me, but uh, like I still find a couple of them just like God, God just shut the fuck up, just shut the fuck up. Like I just I, want I to like, have a character. I like Grover. Grover's really grown on me. Like even as his personality, because he, he's like a sad Groot. You you know what Grover says after he respawns from dying, don't you? Have, have you ever heard his like what he says when he respawns? No. Do I make a sound? It's depressing. Anyway, uh, like you know what? Give Paladins a shot. You don't have to pay any money into it unless you want to. It's a pretty fun game, and it's something if you're tired of Overwatch, if Overwatch has done something to piss you off, or if it, Blizzard's getting DDoSed again, go play some Paladins. It, it'll, it'll scratch that shooter itch well enough. 